They were partying all the time, they were playing, writing music, recording, they were busy and they were like the toast of the town. But I think listening to them and then telling the stories, you know, then the stories start to come out. You know, oh, let me tell you about this gig, you know, where you know they put the, all the stuff in the brownies. Or... Said its share of interesting looking people, but Ricky Dean was a different breed. I mean, it was this kind of he swore the guy wore sunglasses you know, 24 7, kind of looked like Roy Orbison or something, had this kind of greasy mop top hairdo. I mean, the name literally came from I do remember this from a half a gallon of cheap vodka. I mean, I've been asked to manage them, and I, I think they're basically unmanageable. <laughs> a little bit of Rick, Ricky Nelson, a little bit Dean Martin, a little bit of Frank Sinatra. Alan was standing on stage, we were breaking up for one of many times, and then advertised the gig as final gig. We got a lot of mileage out of the performance. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in fact, we even got published one time in the magazine called A Note, where we honestly released that the band Ricky Dean Sinatra was breaking up to, to make, make peace, peace with, with Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> which we stole from Little Richard. <laughs>